What's up YouTube, it's really long. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to unblock things on your school computer or Chromebook. The first thing you're going to wanna to do is search up Edge Elastic on a Chrome Web Store. Now, if you can't do this, then save yourself some time and click off the video because this method won't work for you. So, assuming that you can actually get Edge Elastic, on your school computer or Chromebook or whatever it is. When you find it, the first thing you want to do is like install it, but mine says launch app, so I don't need to install it. It shouldn't take long, so you know, go ahead and install it. And once you do that, you can go ahead and launch it like I'm doing right now on the screen. Now, actually, before I show you like this little edge elastic trick, there's actually another trick you can do in case your teacher is coming. Like, like instantly switch like your uh, tabs you would just press alt and then immediately press tab and then it should like switch your tabs like back so you do that and you see the teacher coming and basically she, she won't be able to see it if you're up and do that because you know it's not on the screen anymore it's like a split second thing or you can press a little window thing on the chromebook like right above the was that the five i think yeah just do that and you have the ability to switch them to so I would also look into that because it's way harder to get caught doing that. And to show you proof that this stuff is not a personal Chromebook and there is actually a school Chromebook and that is blocked, I'm going to show you a gaming YouTube video that was blocked at my school. Well, it's not my school because I graduated, but that's not the point. But you see when I click on the video, it says this, this is blocked because it's in the gaming category. No. To unblock it, you're going to want to go back to Edge Elastic, press GitHub sign in options and sign in with github press privacy at the bottom and scroll all the way down and then go to about at the bottom right then you click on that little youtube icon now i know that's going to be a lot for you because I'm, i thought you've done this but rewatch the video a couple of times and you'll get used to it trust me after you do it like 10 times it's like you know basically muscle memory and that's the video that was a block on like the regular school thing i just kept the ad to show you that it's like no longer blocked and i could free to watch it and other things and also i'm gonna put like steps in the description so you don't have to like keep watching you could just screenshot the steps and it could save you some time but now I'm going to show you something else you could do with Elastic because not only does it unblock YouTube, it unblocks everything. And to unblock everything or get unblock Google, you press the three lines by the YouTube icon. And hold on, the flirt and glares in the way, so I'm going to get that out the way. So yeah, you would do that, then press about right there, and then scroll all the way down again. And then, well, just let me get the glare out of the way first. But after I do that, I press privacy. Yeah, and then you go to privacy. And then you scroll all the way down again one more time, because I know that's repetitive, but at least it works. And you press Google in the bottom left corner. And there you go, Google Unblock. And to show you proof that it's unblocked, I'm going to actually go to the free anime website that I've been using recently. I really like it. So yeah, we we'll just go to that. I'm going to type in something. Actually, hold on. Let me show you that it's blocked first. So proof that, you know, it's actually blocked. See? Block by the school. Go back. Alt tab. And then I'm going to search up anime I've been watching recently. I actually finished it. And the creator of it, like, actually passed away. So RP to him. It was probably like my top three favorite anime, but y'all aren't here for that. So the downside with this, like uh, unblock Google Edge Elastic thing is that you can't really go full screen. That's the downside about it. And like sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you, the all tab thing doesn't work. So one thing you can do to like make sure you can't get in trouble is press control W and just like it instantly closes the tab. Oh yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna do it right now. So you control W, 
it instantly closes the tab, so that way, as it lasts, it for all tab not working, just press Control W, it just instantly closes it. And if it teaches you to go garden or anything like that, since Edge Elastic is like in a different like kind of tab, not related to Google technically, you can't they can't even see that too. And if you don't know what Go Garden is, it's like a thing where the teacher can see everything you're doing on your computer through her screen from a school add-on. Yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you actually like the video, help you like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.